So during my New Year's break, I decided to watch Avatar The Way of Water, and if you're a veteran of this channel, you know that I had some very strong opinions about the original Avatar film. You guys get the picture. This first Avatar film was years and years of James Cameron's wet dreams of riding banshees and linking hair. And basically, the franchise as a whole. And I gotta say, after getting my mind rocked and seeing the long-awaited 13-year-in-the-making sequel at my local mall... <laughs> in beautiful IMAX 3D, like Frank and It's Always Sunny. Oh my god. I get it. This video is not a review of Avatar The Way of Water, so I'm just gonna summarize how I felt about it. This movie, story-wise, is a huge upgrade from the original. I feel like as much as the movie is mostly visually appealing and that's what makes it good, it also managed to actually get me behind the story more than it ever did in the original. This is a movie about a family trying to survive being hunted by Jake's past enemy, spoiler alert, the Avatar clone of Stephen Lang's character from the first one, which works with me in a very 80s action movie type of way. But it's really the world building through the new characters bond with nature and the ocean that actually really drew me in. The story might not be great, but I left Avatar 2 actually really enjoying the messages and themes of wildlife and ecological conservation. The visuals were mind blowing and using different frame rates for different scenes was really effective in immersing the audience into the world of Avatar. Done wrong, this could have been nauseating, but it seemed to work well for me, and even in 3D. Not to mention, it just looks beautiful. The attention to detail down to the splashes of water, grains of sand, clothing, hair, whatever, is the best. It's not the best movie, but it was insanely visually impressive and the story had some unexpected weight to it. Nonetheless, Avatar 2 wasn't as successful as James Cameron hoped, but considering the fact that it's now the seventh highest grossing film of all time and has technically been profitable, we will for sure see more Avatar movies in the future and after Disney invested so much money into it already. But what do we know about Avatar 3 and its other sequels? Well, as leaked in 2018, the rumored title of this third film would be Avatar the Seed Bearer. Considering how much people sexualize the Na'vi, that that title is a little, little weird. It's like a big old Navi jar shrine. I don't really see Disney using this title because it sounds like it would be terrible for marketing. Way of Water, that's cute. That works with the themes of the story. The Seed Bearer seems like we're going to be watching a Navi pregnancy video. Luckily, this is not confirmed. What is confirmed is that the movie is almost 95% done shooting, according to James Cameron. He said there's some things that he needs to shoot with some of the adult actors, but for the most part, it's looking like they have a really clear path of where this franchise is going. And honestly, I'm kind of down for the ride. They also, apparently, according to film's producer John Landau, they even shot the first act for the fourth movie. I think this will be interesting to see in a world for franchises are basically made by a committee and they have no clue really what to do and they don't really plan much, they kind of just figure it out as they go. And actually seeing Avatar be the opposite where it has been planned out for so long and actually the scripts have been written for years, it just needs to get made. I think that's a lot cooler. I'm down for that. That sounds a lot better than, hey, well, we didn't know Sonic was going to do well, so now we're making six Sonic movies. It's like, okay, then no one cares, really, to be honest. I mean, Sonic's great. I'm not saying that, but you got to make a story, you know? Your sequel's got to mean something, so I think this is really an interesting thing for James Cameron to be doing. I think the elephant in the room is that I've made over 40 minutes of YouTube content shitting on the first Avatar, and I said that the franchise's time gap might not win people over in the sequel. I will still stand by what I said in both of those videos, but The Way of Water is almost a reboot of the franchise for me. It did the plot of the first one in a better and more satisfying way. I think I owe James Cameron an apology because I'm fully blue-pilled now, and I will happily pay more money to see any more Avatar movies that he make whenever he asks me to. We don't get blockbusters like this anymore, made by an incredible filmmaker with a true vision. The fact that he's devoting probably the last years he has as a filmmaker on one long sci-fi epic makes me think he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's cooking up. We will start seeing the franchise more around, you know, we'll probably start seeing, you know, like when they did the Avengers fruit marketing ads. We'll probably start seeing that with Avatar as well. There is a new video game being made by Ubisoft, which is a crumbling company, which might be a great concept for another video. But Ubisoft is making an Avatar game called Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, which is promising open world gameplay and really good graphics. I mean, it looks like you can fly on a banshee and fight like a Na'vi, which is very cool. When watching Avatar 2, all I could think about is how I wanted to play it as a video game. So I think that will make for a really awesome experience, maybe even better than a movie experience and yes there was that 2009 video game but uh they didn't really have the tech to make it look good at 
at all. Nowadays, some of the best stories I've seen have been told in video games with hyper-realistic graphics, so we just gotta hope that Ubisoft doesn't go bankrupt or ruin the game. Over in Animal Kingdom at Pandora, the world of Avatar, a land that was supposed to release with this movie, but didn't because of production delays and came out when nobody was hyped for Avatar. I rub this plant, it shoots out water. That's so... This guy's rubbing the plant, and if you rub it hard enough, it shoots out water. The land has been open for a couple of years now, and it's due for something new based around the new films. James Cameron has shown interest in on adding new missions to the most popular ride in the land, Flight of Passage, but I think that they're really missing out on not utilizing those expansion plots. Disney might not see some of the Avatar stuff as worth it, because they are still technically gambling with the land even existing at all, but I have some fun ideas of what I think might be cool to see. Obviously, another ride would be amazing, but in the past, they already made concept designs for a Pandoran animal conservation habitat type of place. This would be a walkthrough experience and allow guests to interact with several alien creatures that inhabit Pandora, and I think it would be really cool. It would end eventually with guests being able to meet a full-size Ekran or Banshee that was like in a nest. My big dream, which would probably never happen, is that we get a Rise of the Resistance style Avatar ride. Imagine how cool that would be. Avatar Land focuses on time after the events of the films and Navis have found peace, so a big battle scene wouldn't really work. Also really wouldn't work with the theme of the park, but I think riding in an RDA troop transport helping the Navi take down the Sky People would be really interesting. Starting from the forest of Pandora onto a human base, blowing it up, nearly escaping? I don't know. Sounds fun to me. Maybe they could add more action-packed mission to Flight of Passage. That'd be really cool. Like the ritual gets interrupted by humans trying to pick off the Na'vi. Just fun ideas. I don't know. I don't know why I want it to be more action-packed than it is. It's very peaceful right now. I just feel like a part of the fun of Avatar is that whole fighting for what is yours aspect of it. You know, the native, the native Na'vi fighting for their land and fighting for the animals that are there. So I think would be really cool to just get to see that within the park you know maybe some tourists go a little too crazy because it's kind of like the plot the plot is literally like the navi are like okay with people coming as long as they're tourists which i feel like if you watch avatar 2 they wouldn't be okay with there's like generational trauma that would still be around but that's that's beside the point i don't need to get deep into it overall i'm incredibly excited for the future of avatar i am shocked shocked well, not that shocked. But anyway, guys, comment below. What are you guys excited for Avatar? Did you guys like The Way of Water? I, I really did. I was quite shocked how much I enjoyed it. It, it was a great ride the whole time. Uh, comment below. What was your favorite moment of Avatar The Way of Water? What do you want to see be done at Pandora? What do you want to see be done in the video game, maybe? I'm excited for all this stuff. Um... I didn't realize how cool Avatar was until I watched the second one and it really jogged the memory of all those memories of when I was a kid, really just uh, really liking Avatar as a kid, you know? But anyway, comment below guys, tell me guys what you know, what you want to say. I'm terrible at these again, I will always say that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, just getting 100 views on one of these videos is enough for me to keep making them. Uh, it's part of the fun, I have fun doing this. So yeah, guys, if you guys do want to support me, though, you guys can like and subscribe. And that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you guys have a good one. See you guys next week. Adios. Bye-bye.